Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Getting back on the 48 Ford. Um, didn't really take a break on it, just worked on the Volkswagen in between it and piddled along with this um, as I went. So, what's my progress? This, uh, if you've missed the first video, this is, this truly is the biggest challenge yet of my you know, quote unquote, modeling skills. Not that I have very many of them, but this one has done it. Um, so I wanted to build a kit that was, that would be, actually my dad built this kit. And I wanted to see what it was like to build a kit, be like a kid in the 60s, building one of these kits. So I took on that challenge and if you build it just straight out of the box, yeah, it's still challenging, but I, I went a little extra. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I added the chrome. So this chrome molding wasn't here. The hood, the doors, the chrome molding here. There was no chrome molding. It comes with stickers. Um, uh, and the stickers are quite, they have some age on them. Um, and I didn't want to do that. I'll show you an example real quick. Not that you guys already didn't know. This is the one my dad built. And you can see the chrome. It's just a sticker. It didn't even have any chrome up top. So I added the the, the molding for the chrome. Um, and it's turning out to look pretty nice. I redid this piece. The last video I had, um, this piece did not look right. I removed this one and redid it. I sanded them down. Some of you guys made a comment that they were too defined. They did stick out too much. So I tried to sand and get the chrome to um, be at least even. Um, all of them the same thickness. And I think I've accomplished that. The, the chassis I painted, but then I started to install the exhaust and realized that it would be a real pain to line up the the exhaust with the engine after everything's painted so what i did my my engine is on a toothpick but i, I placed the engine in in here and um went ahead and mounted the exhaust to where when you stick the engine in they're perfectly lined up so i'll go back and paint the exhaust I've got other parts here in my holder that are going to get some paint, mostly black paint. Um, I'm going to shoot another coat of primer. I had forgotten to install the windshield on the last, on the first primer coat. Didn't even think about it, but I went ahead and installed the windshield. I've got the steering column. Um, the dashboard, I don't remember on the last video if I had that installed or not. Yes, I did because it has primer. I went in and uh, filled. It had some. It had some really large holes here in the dashboard, to where the um, windshield would sit down in that, and it, it they were really unneeded. Uh, I filled them with putty, sanded it down, tried to blend the um, dash into the the front portion here to try and remove that seam. Hopefully, I did so. Got the um, steering column and the pedals in, so they're all going to get. It's all going to get primer now and I got the hood and so, so this guy here, um, if you, if you were to use those holes that were in the dash, it would be setting real far back and you would have like a gap literally like that. It's how far back the wind. So I, I actually slid the windshield a little bit forward so it would meet up with my hood. I, I gaps are like a, uh, kind of a uh, I'm OCD with gaps and I'm going to be a little OCD with my with the doors here they're not going the gaps are not going to be perfect um, but I had to gap them so you wouldn't get a lot of drag when the doors would open but anyway guys not to prolong this I'm going to get some paint on this uh, some primer on this body um, I've been working on the seats to missing a part on the seats actually there's a center section that goes in this, this hole here on the seat that holds the two seats together. I'm going to have to fabricate something, no problem. Um, so the seats are supposed to fold forward 
um, which is really cool. But anyway, all right, so let's get some uh, paint mixed up, some primer mixed up, and we'll get some paint on here. Hey, by the way, if you haven't already, already subscribed, hit the subscription button. Hit that like button. I really appreciate it, so stand by. All right, well, I got a nice coat of primer on there. I used the MCW primer this time. I haven't used it every time, but I'm like, I've got it. Why don't I use it? So I mixed up the MCW primer and I used the uh, Mr. right there, Mr. Color Leveling Thinner in my primer. Turned out great. Didn't realize I had my air turned up higher than normal, but it um, it's a good primer. Um, the chrome now, as I look at it, is much more even before when I, uh, on my first video, the primer was, I mean, the uh, chrome was a bit over proportioned um it did not there were places were too high too low um i still see a, a place or two that's a little out of proportion but i think once i get the chrome on there it would be okay but anyway i've got the body in primer gonna do a light sanding <clears throat> also got the doors primed here and some other um, parts painted um the wheels right here they're going to be the steering wheel also will be the same. It will be the body color. So I will um, get a color mixed up. I want to go with the theme kind of what's on the box. Something like that. I'm a, um, uh, what was it, Karate Kid? I think Karate Kid, the car was something. I think it was a 48 Ford. Anyway, it was about this color. But I, um, I want to go with some sort of cream color I think would look really good on it. Um, so I'm going to get some paint mixed up. I don't have I don't have a cream color, but I have some Wimbledon white. And I think I will mix it and uh, see what kind of color I can get out of my MCW paint and uh, shoot some paint on it. But I'm going to do a light sanding first on the body with about some uh, 1500 or 2000 just to just to knock some of the rougher places my air pressure was a little high so on the back here it's a little little rough so i'm going to smooth those things off and get some paint on and i'll be right back stand by all right so i didn't realize that i did have a a color and it's exactly the color i was wanting it's springtime yellow mcw springtime yellow 6532e that's enamel um, I was going to show you how to mix my paint real fast. Got my hardener here. So I've, I mix, I, I've been using these pipettes. Um, they're so cheap. You just use it and throw it in the trash. I get my, so I can try to at least keep my mixtures, um, keep them, uh, consistent. So I've got six milliliters of paint in there and I get a fresh pipette. And I'll get, now, there, uh, MCW has the thinner. I've got some over there, but I wanted to try this lovely thinner. And it's, uh, so I've got six. So I want to do, um, usually like two to one, but I'm going to go just a hair more than two. So if I can get about two and a half milliliters. Well, no, three would be, I need three. Okay, so get this thing filled up. All right, there's three milliliters. And I'm just going to put um, three and a half. So, and then a little bit of hardener. So here's three and a half. If you get it too thick, it's hard for, at least for my gravity fed um, gun to draw it up. All right, now for hardener, I'm going to do, honestly, this is the first time I've done it with the hardener as well. I think I'm going to go, then the hardener is thick. It's not like it's, uh, it's not like it's thinner. So let's do uh, two milliliters. There, two milliliters hardener, two to one on the paint, and we'll give that a shaking. 
these things I got a bag of a hundred for like uh, seven or eight dollars it's really I've tried cleaning them out and stuff like that it's not really worth it personally uh, because you don't want to cross contaminate by using the same now if it's just like with the thinner the one that I use for the thinner I mean, it's 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 just going to evaporate you could probably use it again um, but that's what I'm gonna do so I'm going to I've got my body now mounted on a piece of sprue it's all sanded and ready to paint so I'm gonna shoot a coat of paint on that the doors everything that's got to have body color I'm gonna do that um, I mounted my got my seats and all I decided to not have my front seat um, tilt it was missing a part and it just doesn't work that great the tilting and what's the point anyway so i'm just i went ahead and glued them in place i've got my panels my rear quarters back in the back got to get those painted i've got these little mud or us uh, guards for the uh and for on the rear fenders so like rock guards or whatever got to paint those black and a few other things but anyway i'm gonna get some paint um got this paint mixed now i'm gonna shoot it you have to use this paint pretty quick because it has hardener in it you can't let it just sit you can't wait till tomorrow it's going to harden on you so you have to go ahead and use it or else don't use hardener you don't have to use the hardener on the mcw paints but i found that it seems to have a better gloss when i use the hardener i have used without it so i encourage you if you do use mcw enamel to get the hardener too and uh there you go so let me get some paint uh in my airbrush and we will um come right back so stand by all right so i got the paint on here and wow that's all i can say and i'm saying wow because of the uh the gloss that this mcw paint has so i I'm not knocking spray cans, okay? Because some guys, that's all, some people, that's all you can you can get. You don't have the uh, you don't have the place for an air compressor. I, I get it. Um, and some guys, especially with the Tamias and things like that, I've never used those, but I see those paint job, the quality of the paint. You can get a high quality paint job from a from a, a spray can, but to be honest with you. <clears throat> like I, I never, I never could get a, a good finish out of out of using the rust oleum. I use it for stuff like I used it to paint these seats, but I, I never. I, what I'm getting at is, since I've started using my airbrush, when I started using the airbrush, I was using the testers. So you know the little bottles of testers here. And I was just using those and they turned out pretty good. But what I've noticed here recently is when I'm looking at some of those paint jobs, they're starting to get that cracking in them. And I don't like that. So since I met or started working with Hobby Nut and started being able to get this MCW paint, it has dramatically, I don't mean like a little bit, I mean dramatically changed my paint jobs and this so with this one i used this um uh, mr color leveling thinner i don't know if that made the difference but oh my goodness guys you just don't even know this 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 camera doesn't even do it justice the gloss and the slick paint job i mean it is slick as glass and that is just shot that is just enamel there's no clear coat on this. Anyway, I don't want to get too carried away with this, but wow, this looks great. I'm, I'm very, uh, very, very happy with the way the paint turned out. Um, I only got a couple little pieces of trash in, in a door. I think it's right over here. But man, I am so happy with the paint finish and the color. I didn't even know I had this color. It was like, wow. It, I said I didn't have it. I was going to have to mix some white, and then I had it. It was, what was it? Springtime yellow. And it looks, you know, it's pretty darn close to what the box color, and I'm not just going for what the box color is. I just wanted a, uh, a lighter color. Um, 
and man it's looking good this paint is not 100 percent cured yet it is you can touch it but you wouldn't want to work with it right now it's only been a couple of hours um, but that's another thing with the hardener it it helps the paint to set up really really quick um, again you wouldn't want to work with it right now but it is a uh, it's, it's dry enough or, or cured enough rather to uh to touch so what where i'm at is so far i've got let me get this over here i've got my engine painted i painted it green you know i don't think it's an actual um like i didn't have the right color for the engine that's okay i think mark actually has probably has the engine color if you go on hobby nut models and look at in the mcw paints he has like tons of different colors and a lot of times it's got particular engine colors for particular years of cars but i've got the, got the wheels painted got those painted body color steering wheels painted right there um that was with the body color um the seats are painted um i actually used this satin brown boots Carlon. I'm going to shoot some flat coat on them. They're they're just a little shinier and it's satin, but it's a little shinier than I like. I don't want it shiny. But um I'm gonna shoot a little flat coat on that. I got the whatever this thing's called is what is it called? The thing that covers the 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 convertible top. Because I'm not gonna put the top on it. Reason being too here's the top and i'm not going to stick it on here but if you were to put this top on there it's it's caddy oh i see why it's caddy wampus i thought it was my car was out of alignment it's uh it's bent oh okay i might could put some heat to it but i wanted it to be convertible i don't want the top on it i, I guess i could paint the top and straighten it but i was wondering why the top wasn't fitting on there i thought my windshield may have been on there a little bit crooked but anyway um, so yeah, so I'm gonna let this cure out the inner parts of the doors. Look at that gloss, something else, not even touched, not touched, but the inner, inner door panels, they've got to be painted this same color. So I'll have to, um, once it cures out, I'll take those off and paint that, um, the inner, the inside of the car. Um, I'd ask a question on the first video. Did this thing have carpet or floor or rubber floor mats? And the, the overwhelming majority was it had rubber floor mats, but they, they, I think a few people did say that a certain model or something like that, if I'm not mistaken, may have had carpet. But this is going to just get the black, flat black treatment. Um, I did get the door, I mean the um, inner firewall on the inside. I got it painted. The inside under the hood, I will detail, but it's body color. And I got the steering column and the dash and all that painted too. Oh, and I did paint the, the underside. I went ahead and painted the underside. I wasn't sure if the bottom should be painted or not, but I had leftover paint. I was, and rather than pouring it out because it's going to go bad, I went ahead and painted the underside of it. And uh, I think that'll actually look really nice with that black, with the black chassis over here. Let me grab it. So I got the, the chassis painted with the exhaust in place. So when I drop the engine in, it's already, the exhaust is already mounted and uh, I really don't even have to glue it because they sit right on top of the manifold, or the manifold sit right on top of it and it will look great. Um, but uh, my chrome trim, even after the paint, it's going, I think it's going to look great with the chrome or the bare metal foil put on it. I don't think there's going to be any issues at all. Um, but this is really turning out nice. I'm, I'm excited. Um, Another thing about this paint and having hardener in it is because the hardener cures the paint like a shell finish. It always has like a, a hard shell on it. If you painted with spray paint, and this may do it still, but I hope not. But you know, if you were to spray paint this with a spray can and you put those doors on there and you close them, chances are they will stick because the paint, it's like it never fully cures and they would stick. Um, and I'm hoping because this paint has hardener when the doors are shut and they sit, you know, for months that they'll still open and close fine. That's my hopes at least. Um, 
I'll let you know how that goes. But I think again, with, when I get the bare metal foil on here, foil the uh, front window and the um, very detailed little windshield wipers, I think this thing is really going to come alive. And um, the hood, oh man, I just can't wait. Um, the hood does, I don't see it on the box here. The center beam or center run on the hood, it doesn't appear to be chromed. And I thought, okay, no, that's a, that's a, a hood, hood um, emblem. I thought for a, a little bit that the hood was supposed to be chrome. That center section was supposed to be chrome, but I don't guess so. There is a hood emblem on my 48. I'm looking at it. I'm not going to take the camera up there. There's a hood emblem on the 48, but, and I've got some hood emblems on the chrome tree or a hood emblem. If I can find it right here, my finger. So right there, I don't know if that's the right one or not, but it may be. But they have different options on here, like you could do for the 46, 47, 48, or something like that. There is also a hood in one there. Anyway, all right, so I'm done talking. Guys, I'm going to cut this video here. This is going to be part two. I've already done enough rambling on. I apologize, but this is part two of the uh, build. I don't want it to be dragged out to like a 40-minute video. I, I, I think that's bad. I've noticed that my audience retention uh, is never what the extent of the video is. So I'm going to try to condense these videos maybe a little bit, try that and see how it goes. I'm not doing such a great job because I'm looking at the recording right now. It's already 10 minutes into this, this segment, but thank you for watching this video guys. Thanks for um, all you do in support of my channel to you guys that have sent me stuff in the mail. Thank you so much. It's, it's so, I'm so, so grateful for that. Um, don't forget to go to the Facebook group and join there. Let me see. I would love to see any of you guys. Now I've seen some, but um, if you, if you're on our Facebook group or if you'll join the Facebook group, if you've built one of these IMC or testers, put it on there, man. I'd love to see it. Um, don't forget to go to Hobby Nut Models. Grab you some of this Im amazing uh, MCW paint, as well as the Mr color leveling thinner so go get you some of that stuff i also have mr color thinner that's not leveling thinner it's just thinner i don't know what the heck the difference is but anyway um yeah go over there and check out mark's uh inventory hobby nut models grab a kit and grab some paint grab some supplies i've got some stuff on the way some new sanding pads some more paint and other things like that Go uh, check his website out. Link in the description below. Check out my Patreon. If you're not a member, go join. Um, and I appreciate you guys that are my Patreon members. Um, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And go grab yourself a t-shirt at the Teespring store. Thanks, guys. You guys take care. And we will see you on part three. And hopefully part three will be the, uh, the summation of this build. You guys take care. Bye. Thank you.